Hi guys, in the last video I showed you how to build a terrain board um, and now I'm going to be talking about how to texturize your terrain board. So rather than put a load of glue on the board and start experimenting with sand and gravel and things like that, I thought I'd test the water a little bit by um, preparing some sort of mock-ups so I can just sort of get an idea of what I'm looking for and how to achieve that. So I'll show you what I've done. So all I did was stick some PVA glue on a board and cover it in sand and a bit of gravel and a bit of everything. So I, I basically went on eBay and I ordered myself this uh, cool little set which comes with um, sand of different thicknesses and gravel and stones and rocks and things. Some of which I'm never going to need but I thought it's only little tiny bags of sand. The whole, the whole set costs a fiver. I thought I may as well give it a try. So the first one, I put a, quite a large lump of PVA glue down and then I covered it in sand um, and that was just pure fine sand and as you can see it looks all right um, there are some patches where it looks a kind of a bit plasticky about here if you can see that there's like a bit of shine on the surface now I, I think that that wasn't to do with the paint I think that was to do with the way that the glue was drying underneath it and maybe it could have used more sand on top of those fatter areas but um, the paintwork on this one not 100% happy with my choice of colours on that I used a very kind of dark sort of sand colour at the, at the uh, as the base and then I dry brushed on top I just don't think it's created the right effect it doesn't really look like desert to me it looks like kind of I don't know, sort of like very kind of creamy creamy mud not 100% not happy with that but that is what dry sand would look like, I suppose. Um, then onto this one. So I went to an extreme with this one. I um, used a very dark base, and this is this is uh, I think this is fine sand with fat sand as well and bits of rock and stuff. And uh, yeah, not very happy about this one. I, I, it's definitely not the kind of thing I'm looking for. Um, just goes to show that if you use a very dark colour for your undercoat. Um, you're going to struggle to hide that completely. So even after lots of dry brushing and things like that, I'm still unable to sort of get rid of that horrible dark that's coming through. It just doesn't look like Tatooine like I'm trying to create. However, the third test came out much better. Now, the only thing I don't like about this particular one is that there's way too many rocks and gravel there. But basically, you see how thin the sand layer is? It's just... It's compared to that, compared to, compared to the blob there. It's really thin here and, 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 it, and it almost looks slightly wet and in some places it looks really dry. So I used um, some bone coloured paint, dry brushed, to get that effect. And I used a, a flesh colour, I think it was like Kislev flesh or something like that, for the actual um, the base and then I, like, I highlighted it with like a bone colour like I say. And I'm really happy with this one. Um, so what I'm going to be doing on my board is I'm going to basically be recreating this but uh, using barely any rocks. So the reason why I want to avoid using rocks on my board is because I want my board nice and smooth and generally flat so that I can place terrain on it. And if I place terrain on this it's going to wobble all over the place. So, um, But I'm very happy about the look of this one. And what I may even do is I might even make a couple of mini boards that I can place around on the board um, which have a large amount of rocks and and uh, tricky terrain on them. Another thing I looked at while I was experimenting was a polyfiller because I'd heard that polyfiller can be used uh, as a surface, as a texture on your board. So I had a look at it at doing just that and I've got to say it does have a quite a pleasing texture um, and the way I did this one was I um, scooped it on, spread it around, it was obviously lovely and smooth, and then I used a bit of sponge, and I'm talking about um, like a little mop-up kind of, you can go into um, you know the cleaning department in a supermarket, and you can find these little kind of rectangular, brightly coloured sponges, um, and they're, they're called like Moppet or something like that. Um, they're really cool, they've got, they've got like big chunks, sort of missing out of them and they they gave the right um texture so i basically dabbed it dabbed it on like that after i'd applied it and uh it sort of broke up 
like you can see there in a couple of cases I even spread it but that kind of created more of a sort of soft flowery look so I'll be I haven't obviously had time to paint this yet but I'd like to paint it and see what happens that's my next step for this particular board another thing I'm doing while I'm on this board is um I'm uh, coating little chunks of foam this is a uh, styrofoam I'm coating that with um, with uh, polyfiller to see what that will look like because you basically you can't spray you spray paint on um, polyfiller if uh, sorry on um, styrofoam which I'm making most of my scenery out of if you do the solvent in the spray can dissolves it I don't really want that to happen obviously I'm not going to spend hours carving up all these bits of uh, foam and assembling them only to have them dissolve so I'm gonna I, I looked I'm looking into the possibility of smearing all of my uh, buildings with a very thin layer of polyfiller and just I'm gonna look at what the results are for that so this has been curing for about 24 hours even though it, it dries in like 15 minutes I left it obviously to see what happened um, it, it, firstly it's quite difficult to work with I mean, you 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 can get a, a, an area nice and smooth, but there's always going to be overspill, like down here, which doesn't look very realistic. Um, so I guess you can sand it. Apparently, I could, I could try doing that, but um, generally, it, it's got a very hard um, feeling to it, and it does feel like it's it's going to take a hell of a beating to uh, crack or anything like that. And then this one here, a bit a bit happier with the with the look of this one, but again, you know, getting it in the corners is very difficult. And I'm using little sort of um, like a palette knife, like an like a, an artist palette knife, and for using uh, for for working with oil paints, I suppose. But um, I find it quite difficult to work with. It's it's a very it's like spreading butter. All, all over your model so maybe um, another another method would be to water it down with PV glue um, which I've not tried yet so I'm going to give that a go because that will certainly give it a better consistency to work with it might be more like a paint then maybe I can even paint it on and another thing I looked at was um, doing things like doorways now this is really rough but I really wanted to try and uh, experiment with um, some corrugated card because I wanted to put corrugated card on the inside of my doorways to create that ribbed look that you see in Tatooine and uh, I was thinking like, how do I actually get the corrugated card to stand up I guess I could sandwich it between two bits of board things like that so it does it, it works I think but, but basically this was a you know when you go in Starbucks and they give you a coffee and you get that little bit of card that goes around the cup to keep your hands from being burned that's what that is. So I basically went into Starbucks, saw those, uh, and I thought, hey, that's exactly what I'm looking for, corrugated cards. So I grabbed like 10 of them. I recommend doing that because it's free. And from each from each of those 10, you'll be able to cut like two or three doorways. So um, good technique, um, I think, good trick. On the outside doesn't look too bad. I think I could do another layer. And again, it, it, my, my biggest gripe is the smoothness. I'm after a much more smoother finish. Maybe I need to get my get get apply, apply the polyfiller, then dip my finger in some water, and then like smooth it in like a wood clay. But uh, I don't know. It's still work in progress.